This is Bert Clemens reporting for Sacramento Voices with another Barbershop Talk segment. Most of us have been affected by domestic violence, whether it was a family member or a close friend. This horrible act has touched our lives in one way or another. Recently, a video was released to the public showing an NFL player hitting his fiance so hard she was knocked unconscious when her head hit the rail in an elevator. Let's go back to the barbershop and see what the community is saying about it. And if anyone thinks that it's ever okay to hit a woman. Hey, I know it ain't that smart to say. It just has to stop. Both sides, it just has to stop. I'd rather for us to somewhere far away. How do I take these calls away? I swear it'd be so hard to say exactly what I'm feeling without feeling like I'm being played. Cause even when I the fact that he actually let her lie there, dragged her out of the elevator like a sack of wild rice, used his foot to just kind of move her from the entryway, and just watched her, just let her lay there. It affected me in such a way that I could see that the media wants to um, shed black people or men in a negative light. That domestic violence is still there, even though it's kind of an undertone. Ben Roethlisberger, two-time rapist, you know, known, and he's still in the league. You get your whole contract uh, contract revoked. Had he not picked her body up and threw her out the out the elevator, and then proceeded to move her legs aside with his feet, at that point he treated her like trash. I thought Ray Rice was done. He has a career. He uh, he he just seen Jay Z go through it. Jay Z just showed him in the elevator. They recorded so. For him to sit up there and to do that in a public place in the elevator, I thought he was stupid. Only when we get the spirit of the living God in us can these things be corrected. Without the spirit of God, the fruit that we look for, people to produce, we just can't produce it. A man that's secure doesn't need to um, physically put his hands on a woman because he knows who he is and he knows that you know he can hurt her and he knows his ability to be honest i mean i don't care if it's a guy hitting a woman or a woman hitting a guy or two women or two men it's still not it's not acceptable a man shouldn't unless his life feels you know threatened or in danger put his hands on a woman no matter what the situation is. It's okay for a man to hit a woman because women have fought for equal rights. So they want their equal rights. If you hit me, I'm gonna hit you back, period. Not just in front of the camera, but behind the cameras, behind closed doors to say, it is not okay. I think what he did to her was terrible, um, but I also think that there needs to be some type of um, professional counseling that's given to some of these Players. When Jesus Christ comes back, only then shall these things be put in order. Never okay to hit your spouse or a mate. Never. She still decided to marry him anyway. You should learn to walk away, turn that other cheek, because you put your hand on that person, you, you see how we're going to end up every time. You know, uh, we, we have no room for error at all. In junior high, when boys are first getting into sports, that just because you're playing sports doesn't mean that you do still don't have responsibility to yourself and, and, and your, the women in your family and the community um, as a whole. It's, it's not going to be acceptable no matter how far up the chain you go. This is Burke Clemens from Sacramento Voices, reminding you to tell your friends about Barbershop Talk. Also, if you'd like to see more features like this, visit sacramentovoices.us and leave a comment. Stop the cycle somewhere. I think starting with kids is a great place to start.